Hello everybody, welcome to the second review of today, hopefully they go up the same day. This is the Inferno Squad Battle Pack. I have the other box, I'm going to make a wall of boxes in the basement when I review stuff. Because I have the TIE Fighter upstairs, like I said, I'll, if you watched my old video, my last video. Let's see. So let's go over the box first. Like I said in the last video, I don't know if you watched it, the white bricks with the Darth Vader, Lego Star Wars, you know, it's bought out. Star Wars has been bought by Disney. This is the Inferno Squad Battle Pack. 100, 118 pieces. It's a battle pack, so four minifigs. Um, I believe it is 20 US dollars. I am not so sure, though. I'm sorry. So it comes with an awesome speeder bike and three troopers. Um, well, Inferno Squad troops. So the speeder, this is the side of the box where you open it at. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping this everywhere. Lego Life, this is the real size. Inferno Squad Agent, it says. So this is the size of them. He's no normal size. Lego Life. Um you got the stud shooters. I hate them. So yeah, this is the back of the box, side you open, bottom, just a recycle thing. So you can recycle the box, but do not recycle the bags, okay? That's all they have to say. It uses the pull tab -tab thing for the box, so you pull it open, and the instructions, and the stuff comes. That's, yeah, that's it, it's small, I know. So, the instructions are easy, the time it took me to put this together was around three minutes. I spent most of the time on the minifigs, actually, just saying. So let's get on to the minifigs. It's just normal Lego instructions. Yes, there is some Technic building, but this is it. There's only one page of it, and then you just put it on the set. Isn't that amazing? Um, comes with this awesome belt. I think, I believe they released this in a different color with the Robin minifigure, with the um, Batman, Lego Batman movie, but I am not sure. I don't pay attention. So you got Iden Vergio, and I read half of the book. I read half of the Battlefront 2 book. I play Battlefront 2. Huh? I play Battlefront, normal one. I play a little bit of Battlefront 2 though. I usually play online though. But um, I don't remember these dudes' names. Neither does Lego. Because if they say Infernal Squad Agent, then that's bad. So, they have the normal, normal TIE fighter pilot helmets. Um, this one has a weird face. They're all different, okay? The bomber is another face. He's the one who has the belt on. This dude right here. The one with the nice resistance face and the enlarged gun. So yeah, why don't I so um and then this guy, the sniper dude, he's angry clone face. I know we all love them. So they have stud shooters. Uh, I think you guys know what these do, but if you shoot if you hit the top part here, if you shoot them, they roll all the way over there, which I have to go pick up now. Yes, they do get annoying. So, on to the actual set. And, see ya. Welcome back. I just had dinner. So yeah, I just showed off these stud shooters. I said we were gonna get onto the set. There it goes, I didn't actually shoot that, that just fell out. So I said we were gonna get on to the actual set, but I just wanted to point this out, point this out. This sniper, it's three pieces, no, four. Yeah, four pieces, it's good sniper. It's a good sniper, proper grammar, Matthew. This is the, um, like, hello there. This is the like rocket thing, smart rocket, smart homing rocket. If you play Star Wars Battlefront, you know what it is. 
But um, they use, he holds it by the stud shooter, but they use the um, original Star Wars blaster thing. That's also the one with the belt. I already pointed that out. That's weird. I already pointed that out, though. So, uh, yeah, on to the set again. Bye-bye. Here we go. This is the little speeder build they give you. Ooh, it's fun to play around with. I believe this guy pilots it right here. As you might see him, he looks to be a nice man. But he is very dangerous. Do not give in to him. He will kill you. He's an inferno squad. And I know you guys all know what that is. Okay, yeah, I have to put him on the bike. I can't do it with one hand. So yeah, bye, uh, yeah, nah. It's not good anymore. So yeah, bye. So yeah, this is the um, speeder bike. Put the guy on. This one isn't, isn't the angry clone. Is that weird face? Yeah, that's a weird face. So yeah, his helmet is the um, normal pilot helmet, but it has different colors on it. It's red. Focus. Has the Imperial symbol, but that's in red. And it has the Inferno Squad symbol. Inferno symbol, Inferno Squad symbol. So yeah, you can put a blaster in there. You, you have another thought to put a, another blaster in there. I prefer to use the other ones. I'll show you what you can do with them to make it look cool and realistic. So yeah, these use the stud shooters to shoot. But um, it goes smooth on hard surfaces. But if you have any bumps and you're like pressing down on it, it will not do good. Because this is hard right here. This will... Well, won't hurt you, won't penetrate you, but this will not go through like a tiny bump. So, yeah, if you want to, you could put smooth pieces on that, but that's not what LEGO gave you. It's a nice engine. I was surprised, like, it might not seem big, but at first I was surprised how big the gap was in between these. That's a whole axle rod thing in between them, which is kind of big. Again, I don't know what engine that is. It's cool, it's blue. Those are my wall of sets here. Um, it's a nice built speeder. I like this a lot. So you got the cheese slope. No, not cheese slope. Looks like it though. And then you got the side piece. Side piece. I'm so stupid. So you got the stud shooters right here. Um, you got blasters right here. No, right there. These are blasters. And you have the main blasters here. So to get the minifig in and out, this actually folds up and down. It doesn't come with a panel, so I just make them like hold close to that and pretend that's a panel. It has a lot of play features, like it's really cool. And if you're an adult watching this and your kid wants to buy it, yeah, buy it for them. Especially if they've read the book. There's a book about it. It's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Inferno Squad. I'll go get the book. I have it. Whew. Wait. That's the wrong thing. I don't care. I'm supposed to go like But yeah, I'm sorry to ruin your childhood, kids. That's just our hand. That's not real. I want to review that soon, but I'm into Star Wars, so nah. I'll review that, like, today. <laughs> this is the book. Star Wars Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad. I have Battlefront 2. Christy Golden, I just ran upstairs and downstairs. Christy Golden, all that. The Rebellion has hope. The Empire has Inferno Squad. It's kind of a cool thing. It's um $28.99, so $29. That's expensive. Um, I bought it from Barnes & Nobles, I think. Yep, if you buy it from Barnes & Nobles, or if you did, you get Exclusive content. No, there's a Lego review. Right, I'd like to throw this in. The TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter. The Y Wing. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. These are all the people. That's Item Virgil. Her friends, which are the minifigs. I'm joking. They actually copied them. Good. That's a note. 
the TIE Fighter, doing, beating the Y-Wing. This is like the sketch. It's the Inferno Squad symbol. And the helmet. This is cool. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. And then the book. It's cool. It's readable for like a 10-year-old, 11-year-old. Yeah. It's a good book, actually. And yeah, here. Okay, yeah, we're back onto this now. Like I was saying, the speeder is good. It runs well. But if there's bumps, it will not. Oh my gosh, I thought that was centipede. I'm not really freaking out. It will not run well in bumps. It gets caught on them. Um, otherwise, a good set. Like, you can ram it through stuff. Break it. Oh, just don't break it. Oh, yeah, um, if you need help putting these on, they flap to the side. This kind of looks cool, actually, on camera. They flap to the side. It's e an easy build. Very easy, easy build. So, see you guys on my next review, which will be the Imperial TIE Fighter. Peace out. I forgot. I'm so stupid, right, Imperial? Dude. So yeah, I forgot to show you guys what it would be like without the star shooters, because yeah, I know everybody loves them, right? So I didn't version you know, what I did, I just gave her oh yeah, it comes with an extra belt, so you could put that around one of them. I just gave her two of the pistols. They, um, I don't know what type of pistols they're supposed to represent. That's what I just gave her. I like the rocket design on this, so I kept it like that. It kind of looks like a smart rocket. Not that much at all, but that's what they use in Battlefront, and that's what they're using. This is the piece that goes on the sniper. It goes on the top, but I do not like that. It, you cannot hold this as a minifigure. Well, you can, but it's going to be hard. So I just put two pieces in the scope. Oh yeah, for the pilot, driver, knee figure, I just gave him one of those. So, um, boy, this is going to be hard. Um, can't do this with one minute. This is the gun. So, you have this piece, this piece goes on top of this one so you know the this is the gun you get with the set I take off the top piece and then put in a fun little scope that you could get then sometimes I push this in it sideways so it goes straight into the minifigures fine you know it's painful out there yes the sniper is the one with the angry clone head. It's not my fault Lego puts in angry clone heads in every single set they have. Peace out, guys.